story about that. The video, the video cut out. Uh, yeah, if anyone want, if anyone wants to know what tape I listened to, I'll tell you right now what it was. But but please, please, please be. I'm I'm giving you a word of caution. Right. I don't think you should listen to the tape if you're going for a kundalini activation right now or if you've just met your twin flame because you, cause you, then you'll go through the kundalini afterwards like within a short period of time I didn't go through the kundalini straight away with, when I met my twin I went through it I went through it about a year, a year after, I think it was when I went into separation, it was when I went into separation, well, not long after, about three, three months after I went into separation, which was, which was already like a year in, after I met her anyway, or, or, or however long that was, the energy, but right, it, it will, you will go into separation at some point, because you can't take what's happened, you can't take the, 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 the situation like the the energy of the of the you feel the you feel that love and it's unlike nothing else uh, but then all everything of unlike that love is then sitting in front of you like staring in your face right metaphorically and literally you know it, it, it it's all linked you know so you'll go into separation um but the tape that I listen to, if anyone's interested just to hear just to hear it, not so you actually use it and apply it, that's 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 down to your own risk. But the tape was called um, Limitless Manifesto by Dylan James. He's a young American guy. He lives in uh, I think he lives in California somewhere. I'm not sure where, but he's actually moving to Thailand now with his partner. Uh, so congratulations to him. Yeah. But that tape that I listened to that had a, ma a massive effect on my spiritual journey and for, the, and for the spiritual journey of many others that listen to that tape. I mean, all you've got to do is w read the comments. Like if you go on YouTube now, well, you're on it now you're watching this but if you after you've listened to this or pause this video now and then type in limitless manifesto by dylan james you'll see the tape come up because it'll have millions of views on it right i'm smiling because i know that this this i never would have believed that it, it this stuff is real right so it works so but it, at a price, you have to pay a price for it. You have to go for a purge. And it doesn't help if you're going for a Kundalini or you're about to go for a Kundalini activation too. Um, but what it is, is... I'm saying all this, by the way, now, because people might be thinking to me, well, why are you feeling the way you're feeling like on your videos and why are you going from... How are you have... This is my, my journey. Right, and I'm I'm talking about things from a from a like I I think I, I I I'm not trying to be this isn't a judgment this is more of a discernment but I I I'm seeing people talk to me about their twin flame journey and respectively they're telling me what's happened on their journey and it and it seems to have gone on for years like. When I say years, but decades for some people, and it's you. As I said, you got to remember your twin is you. It might not appear that way with your eyes, but they are. They're you. If you understand what this is, it's it's a connection. It's it, it's not a relationship in the 3d template of things like in a, the matrix template of what a relationship is 
it's a it's it's a it's an energetic connection of divine love of the same soul that has to balance each other's energies out and then the two become one in whatever fashion that is hopefully you are an item you become an item I don't see why you wouldn't um, as I said I don't uh, it's not I don't want to talk about that part of this conversation but I don't know I don't know you can't preempt it's not preempting but you but you, it's it is surrendering to that love um but yeah it's it, it's 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 something to be like you love each other no matter what and hopefully when i say hopefully as I, as i said it, I, this is all dependent on on the conscious twin first i personally believe that if you balance out your own energy which is what i'm doing now i've gone through the i've gone through some shit i've gone through some heavy stuff and you believe that you are an item with your twin i think that will happen to you because i'm not, i'm not discrediting what i've learned from from scripture and from like what people like neville goddard talk about I still think that applies, even in a twin flame journey, because you're dealing with energy, you're dealing with self. And where they're a physical counterpart of you, it's a very, it's the same soul. You don't force nothing, however you have to allow it. That There's nothing stopping you from believing. That's what I'm saying, because it doesn't if you believe in something that's that that's it's done unto you as you believe it is done unto you because that's a spiritual law it's a law of being it's a law of I am and because someone once said to me you can't manifest your twin because they're you, you can't bypass the process. No, I agree. Um, I'm not answering that phone, I'm making a video, so. Whoever it is, call back later. And as it's, as it's say in Scotland, and fuck you. <laughs> not every, not everyone in Scotland says fuck you, by the way. <laughs> Most of them do, but... <laughs> uh, nah. Uh, this video is a, is a huge ramble, it, um, I must say. Uh, Um, not sure what else to say really. Um, I will go back in now because it's a bit cold up now. Not cold, but windy. Uh, I'm getting a high pitched sound coming through my ear. I, I wasn't going to say nothing, but I, I'm getting it in my left ear. And I had this the other night too. I had a really profound, high-pitched noise coming out of my ear. It might be a download, as they say. I don't know. It might be the dissipation of the energy, the purging process I'm going through. I can't, I can't tell anymore. Maybe it's both. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is, is that... Um, You can't 
bypass bypass the process. I agree, but you can do things to speed it up. But then it comes at a price. Um, so what I think what what people do they they can't that they they let this fester for years and it, and it, and it's sort of not. It, they go at their own pace, and if they feel they can't handle things due to life circumstances or whatever, they'll put their twin on the back burner, and they'll just do their work on themselves bit by bit, and that's fine. And I've heard of some stories where they do that, certain people, and they're in contact with their twin, and they're, and they're moving forward slowly together. That's fine. That's what, that's, I think that's great. Um... Essentially, that's. It, I I mean I'm not far off from that. I'm I'm, but then what I'm saying is is that I've 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 listened to I've done things on my I've gone through some changes on myself that I've put on myself that. I've, and I didn't know that, that, that it would have interfered with the whole process. But as I say, I listened to the tape of the affirmation tape, and it's really. Got down into my core. And it's, 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 I think it's added, what it has, it's added to this pressure that's built up inside me. And it's really, and it's, it's just removing all the pain and it, it's removing all my limiting beliefs. As I say, it, it, it's, he, he, he chose very specific affirmations that target these core beliefs and You don't. You'd understand if if you if you hear the tape. You might not think nothing of it at first. You might say, "Well, what's so great about this?" If you was to listen to that tape for a month at least onwards, as you go to sleep at night, that is making its way down into your core, into your subconscious, and it's gonna find all them beliefs that are that are hiding there, that are dormant inside you. It finds them. It finds them and it brings them to the light. It brings them out. I just feel so... Everything seems more calm. Like I feel like I'm in a dream. Like I'm in a bubble. It almost feels like I'm high. And yes, I've tried cannabis a, a couple of times before in my life I have I don't smoke cannabis at all because I don't I don't like it I don't I don't connect with it but I have tried it and it makes you feel spaced out and it makes you feel like everything's slower and it makes you feel like you're in a big bubble like you know well I feel like that now naturally and I'm not even taking any any nothing I'm not taking anything to feel like this it's a natural high, like a natural, well not high, but it's a natural um, groundedness uh, feeling that I'm feeling. Um, I know this wasn't the most exciting of videos, um, but it's it's just stuff that's been on my mind that I've had to share with everyone. Um, I mentioned the affirmation tape because I'm just saying that that's accelerated my journey. But there's a price that I've had to pay. It's 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 added to the pressure that's built up inside me. And, and put it this way: if I would have known before about what's happened to me now, I swear on the Bible, I wouldn't I wouldn't have listened to the tape. But then I can't say that because I, I, I maybe I'll. I'll I've done it now. Do you know what I mean? It's like, and that's, I, 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 I'm just saying my ego would have frightened me, would have told me, that don't do it. Um, but I, I, but I followed my heart. I, I said to myself, I have to do something. To get, not to get my twin back, but like I want. I knew she. That's what I'm saying. You just know that when you meet, when you meet your twin, so you you do anything in your power to like to to, to fix yourself. To do something like to <sighs> I 
I just can't, I just, I, 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 I don't feel scared. I just feel strange, like, where this is taking me, because I, I, I know that she's going to come back into my reality in a different way, and she'll be stepping into the feminine energy. She'll be, she'll really be stepping into that energy of union that I had when, when we was in union. Um, why I'm being scared, why I'm nervous about that, I don't know. I don't know why there's this sense of, there's this uh, nervousness that's there. Like, um, it's all beliefs, it's, because I'm still purging, so you know that purge that I'm going through, like, it's, it's, it's active now, even now, it, it, it's, 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 a, it's a constant antivirus, like, cleaner process that's constant and it, it and it will remain in my being until I I am until I am purified until it's integrated alchemized balanced whatever you want to call it uh, I'm excited for my twin to come back in I mean yeah I want to hold her and and and, and be with her but that's not it's the love, it's, it, 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 I'm just focusing on that, I'm not focusing on anything else, uh, they're there to act, they're, they're, it's a very painful process and it, and it, and it's there to activate you and it's there to trigger you every level, level, uh, and because that's what I was saying to people last night, I sent, I sent a message to someone, I said to them, this is my ego, totally going through ego death, you know, and I said to the, my friends on the phone, I don't know if I want to be with them anymore, like they've caused me so much pain and I, I feel so indifferent about them, like where they've hurt me so much, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be with her anymore. Like, when that a moment in you... Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it, when, when she comes for, well, when that time comes where my twin comes forward. Because it's an energetic connect... As I say, it's, it's, it's when... I, by that time, my energy will be balanced. Like, completely balanced. So I won't be thinking thoughts like this. Because, as I said, I'm still going for the purge. Right, and as this guy said on my first video that I put on ages ago, well, about a week ago, it's your masculine and feminine coming into harmony. That's why you're feeling this way. He said, um, uh, "Yeah, um, this." So that's what I'm saying. This whole stuff that everything she's done even how she's behaved towards me things she said that's all that is not her doing that like that is that's that's actually me like um because because it um it, do you understand it's not um i mean yeah she's saying that to me but it, it, it but it's the energy is not aligned when i say it's not um it's not balanced because if it's balanced she won't be saying them things to what what is she what they've said they'll be saying things that resemble union do you understand they won't be saying stuff which was it so it, it, it their their behavior towards me is 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 is, is it's It's not, is it not dependent upon me, but it's, it's linked to me, like, it, it, it's, um, yeah, maybe it is dependent upon me, like, if, if that's the way you want to word it, you know, uh, because if, uh, if I'm balanced, she she will move into being balanced. So 
it, uh, this is what I'm saying. This goes beyond like what people call a relationship. Do you see how this is not a journey of the mind? It's it's exactly what Sacred Soul Rising says. It's a journey of the soul. It really is, and it, it so it's, it's so if people accept start to accept it as a, an energetic connection. And you can do all the things that you do with someone in a normal relationship, but but it's but it's by but by definition it's not a relationship in, in the standard matrix sort of template. It's a it's a it's a connection, which is better than a relationship. So it's not an insult to to say it's not a relationship. It's actually a compliment. It's a compliment, man. Oh. I just don't, like, I'm just going to continue going what I'm going through. I mean, I really had some dark days recently, and I had a lot of doubt, and my ego's trying to, because where it's dying off, it's it's making me, it's trying to scare me that I'm not going to see my twin again. And I know it's bullshit. It's, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's just part of the pro, it's part of the purging process, but I'm excited to see her transformation that's that's what i want to see i want to see her honor her feminine so yeah i mean i, I think i've said everything i wanted to say in a roundabout way uh i just woke up today after a night's worth of purging on dreams and weird things in the dreams where i'm having these emotive dreams where it's processing my you know it, it, it's done a lot of changing and a lot of work a lot of work because one of my mate as i said one of my major wounds that's been activated within me is like the i think it's the the having physical intimacy with with people uh, like with women, uh, with with the op with the opposite sex. Like when I say I've 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 had I've been, I've had intimacy, but this like, I think this is talking about uh, like true intimacy. Like um, I I think it's to do with like self. It is. It's it's all about me honouring my own worth and self love. Uh, and not to be validated by by um, physical anything in the physical and um, and and like you know so yeah it's like as I said like people can be intimate with people but that don't mean that you love them that just means that you're being intimate with them you know it, that's that that's not um, it's not something that you should feel a sense of loss over. Um, which is now, I think I've now transcended that. Uh, or almost, I've transcended that. Um, this love is different. It goes beyond everything uh, of the twin flame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's teaching you a lesson. It's teaching you to love yourself. And it's teaching you to come in balance with yourself. And once you're in that, nothing can ever upset you again. You you almost become fearless, like of, of of what what it's doing. It's removing all your limitations. Um. I mean, if I would not have listened to the affirmation tape, and just gone through the Kundalini process normally, well by itself, would I? I think it, I think I would have got through, through this process a lot easier and smoother and quicker and um, well when I say quicker it would have been a lot easier even if it might have took longer um, but it's it's something that uh, it, it would have removed these limitations anyway, because that's what Kundalini does. 
all that matters. I always keep going back to the love. And even though I, I was going through all this doubt and despair and everything last night, I'm now bringing it back to me completely. I'm really bringing it back to I. To, to put the attention on me, and by doing so, that's that will bring union. But I'm not doing it in a in a. I'm doing it more in a relaxed way now. Uh, but yeah. Um, It's all tied into the physicality of things, where my wounds were, and to be fit and to be physical with someone, which means sexual intimacy or or intimacy or or whatever, even just going for a meal with someone. You know what I mean? It's like it's all tied in. It's all tied in, and it's just um, it's it, it's it's just limited beliefs. Um. But I feel so calm. Like I feel so, and I'm still going through the process. I wake up one day, and this will all be gone, and I won't have no awareness of none of this stuff I've been speaking about. Like as in, I won't have no awareness of my twin, and no, none of nothing to do with none of the wounds. I'll have no awareness on them, because I won't be feeling th that feeling anymore. Um. So basically what I've got to is that the physical world don't matter and physical things don't matter or to be physical doesn't matter. That's all masculine energy. That's all like the, the, the masculine principle is to, is, to, is to take action in physical. Um, so where you rise in your masculine energy, where you're balancing, or where, you're move, where, where the feminine moves into the masculine internally, in, in to take action in their energy because they've merged more into the masculine energy they won't feel a sense of lack to or sense of inadequacy to take action in the physical or to be physical because they feel ho they feel whole they feel that their cup has been filled with the masculine energy in themselves so they don't feel a sense of lack they have it they now will have it. Yeah, so... And that's balancing your energy out. And then that's when I've learned that your twin just starts to come back into your reality. That's just, you know... Because where you've then let go of the... the where the, where the energetic um, sense of... Uh, the, the pushing energy has now been relaxed and it's backed off. Because now you've ba balanced in yourself. I'm talking about the feminine it has now balanced in themselves. The masculine is going to feel that. And then that's when they start to chase you. And that's when they start to mer merge and stay feminine. The masculine will then start to integrate into the feminine. And I can't wait to see that. I almost want to cry. Like, I've, I've, got, I've got all emotional like, a bit now. Like, um... I, 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 I just can't wait to see that it's a, um, so that's what I'm saying I'm talking about this in terms of energy now and start to realise that I've got the power like I've got the I've got the ability to, 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 to focus on the love and love only and balance out my energy and understanding that it is, it, it's a connection that I'm linked to my twin you can't lose. You can't really lose. It's just your ego telling you that you're gonna lose. You can't. Don't don't listen to the ego. Don't listen to it. So I'm gonna go now. Um, I'll keep going, doing what I'm doing. I mean, it's it's an automatic process. I can't say stop. It it it's constantly uh, going. And for all the ladies out there that want me to strip tease, here we go. Oh, no, I'm joking about, I'm joking about that. The guys that watch this video, you're probably thinking, what the fuck are you doing? Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I am Sam. Anyway, 
See you later. And um, thanks for watching the uh, this video. Um, just balance the energy out. That's that's what I'm saying. Balance it out. Thanks.